Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway has bought Bank of America shares for 12 straight days. Surat, you own it. What do you make of this move? Uh, I do own it. I mean, Scott, the stock's still down 27% uh, for the year. We like it. We like it for its diversified uh, businesses. I think it's the right place to do, but I've been wrong for the last you know year owning this stock. But I think going forward, as we get closer to, I think, you know, a, a normal market, whatever that's going to be, uh, Bank of America's in a great place. So is J.P. Morgan. So are some of these banks that have the ability to have a huge, large customer base, have wealth management, M&A. They have, you know, a uh, a lot of businesses and are trading when you look at the market at a very cheap value yet yeah, the catalysts are not there yet and and, and i could you know uh, see that but i think he's doing the right thing accumulating it now so that if and when the stock price does move up he's got a good position in it yeah joe 12 straight days right for buffett stocks up eight percent uh, in that time frame maybe giving it a little bit of a jump start 337 million dollars that they've spent they now own almost 12 percent of, of the outstanding is this a good move and should investors follow the oracle into bac and maybe the banks more broadly well i mean scott he could buy it for another 12 days he can't really fix the headwinds that are challenging the money center banks you know that i'm in jp morgan that's the one bank that i think is the best in breed as it relates to bank of america the reasoning behind why i am not in that is just the significant consumer exposure that it has in the absence of trading revenue that you will find in some of the other uh, financials like a morgan stanley a goldman sachs and even jp morgan which reported a strong quarter so no, I wouldn't suggest if you're going to be picking one of the money center banks that I would buy Bank of America. If you're, you know, buying Bank of America right here, you might as well just go buy Wells Fargo because I think you'll probably have more upside return uh, if there is an environment where the banks, uh, all boats seem to rise. So I think you still have to stay best in breed, which takes me to J.P. Morgan. And if we're going to the thesis that all banks are going to rise, well, then you go Wells Fargo. Oh, wow. OK. Steve Weiss, Joe says Buffett's making the wrong move. What, what do you say? I don't think Steve can hear me. Brenda, um, you know, if you look at the financials, yep, Joe painted a picture of why they haven't worked. Um, you know, it's no mystery. But is now the time to get in like Warren Buffett is doing, even if it's a little bit early? I think it really depends on your time horizon. You know, Warren Buffett is known for being incredibly patient and for sitting on trades that might not work for a while. Um, so I think if, if that's how you're feeling, then it might not be a bad time to start nibbling. But I don't think we're really going to see any real traction in this group until we start to see more of an economic recovery scenario playing out that involves interest rates moving higher. You know, we kind of got a couple of weeks ago a little bit of a, a, a reality check when we saw how much the, many of these banks had started building their reserves. So they definitely are exposed in many ways to the economy and to the consumer in some ways. Um, we own JP Morgan, that is also our only holding um, in this space. So we haven't completely abandoned the group, uh, but just think that we are not yet prepared to start adding more exposure here, given what we think is going to potentially be a, a longer term time horizon uh, before we really see a recovery. So Joe, you're, you're going to get a vaccine, right? You, you agree with that? Right. You're, you're optimistic about that. Right. You're optimistic about that. I think you're going to get right? mul multiple. OK. Yes. Mul multiple vaccines. OK. So economic data today. Decent. You think we're going to get a, a decent snapback in the economy as you get into 2021? So I, I heard the conversation that you had yesterday with Josh and John. And I know John used the words rage and, and uh, Josh seemed to feel as though uh, it'll be the moment where we'll, we'll just feel this euphoria in, in the capital markets. I still believe, Scott, that the areas of stress and strain as it relates to airlines and travel and entertainment and brick and mortar retail and even some of the financial institutions, you're better served, as Mark Lazary has discussed with you, in the credit market, not in the equity market. So you're telling me in that environment where we have a euphoric lifting uh, in, in the equities market that I'm not going to be OK continuing to own Microsoft and Apple and Home Depot and Nike. Uh, and DocuSign and names like that, I believe that I will be. I'm still not willing on the equity side to step out and buy the components of the COVID-19 stress and strain industries that have been so challenged throughout this pandemic. Weiss, I think we got you back. What do you make of this Buffett move, right? It's not one day, not three days, not eight days, 12 straight days they've been adding shares of Bank of America. 
Well, you know, it's interesting. Uh, I could probably buy it all for them in one day. But away from that, if I were to buy a money center <laughs> bank, it would be Bank America. I do think they're a best in breed. I don't think Moynihan gets enough credit for the job that he's done. He's not a, as visible. He doesn't do all the conferences that Jamie Dimon does. But look at the execution. It's been nearly flawless, despite being tagged, if you go back to the issues that the government put him into with Merrill, et cetera, in the housing crisis. So I'd buy that. However, I agree with Joe. The headwinds are much too great here. The Fed's out there saying that we're going to, you know, adjust our inflation target. So you're going to see low rates for a very, very long time. And that's a headwind I don't think you overcome. So there's a new valuation normal for bank stocks, and I think you're at it right now. So I'm not there. Wow. Can't get anybody to get excited about this at all. Boy, have, have times changed, Surratt. I told you that Buffett endorsed your, your ownership of Bank of America. He's been buying it for 12 straight days, and you, you know, uh, I guess so. Uh, no one seems to be excited about it. No one likes the financials. No, look, I... <laughs> Scott, no. Scott, I like it when they don't like the financials, okay? Let, let them not like the financials. I think there's value here, and I think when the value comes back, you're going to see a lot of money rotate. And yet, you know, Joe had some great stocks in there, but I like Bank of America and J.P. Morgan. I don't like Wells Fargo. I think the management team, as, as White said, are the ones you want to buy, and these are the companies and the big money center banks that you want to do.